It's important to provide students easy access to where they can get help um, in an online course. There may be times where they're having technical difficulties um, and it's not something that the instructor per se can, can answer or assist them with. So you wanna make sure that right there, it's obvious in the course at all times where they can go to get help. Within our template, we have built in some easy access to tech support. So there's a link, there's a phone number, so our students always know where they can go to get help right away. You just wanna make sure that your students always have access to technical help if they're gonna need it in the course. Obviously from the Open SUNY aspect of it, we have a variety of different resources. So having various links and modules within the learning management system or within the course is important, but we also can't do this on our own. So we work hand in hand with the campuses. So but what's important, and so this is where sometimes it can make it interesting, is people don't know who to call. So, you know, so it should definitely be um, very easily laid out within the course or within the, the actual LMS system of, okay, if I have a login problem, who do I contact? In most cases, it's the campus help desk. Um, if it's a how-to type of or navigational issue or from a faculty perspective, a setting issue or something's not working right or they just got an error, then they should be calling the help desk. And, and in, particular, in a particular case, over the last few years, campuses have gotten much, much better than it originally when uh, we put this together that it's much more spelled out for it. So we don't want to have people going back and forth between help desks, whether it's a campus help desk or the Open SUNY help desk in Albany. So having that type of setup, basic, basic information of who to call, who to contact or how to contact. Um, some campuses don't have a phone number, they just prefer to go by email address, um, making sure that all that information is in there. In our particular cases, we have extended hours, so it's important that, that they understand that and when they can reach us. We're not a 24 seven help desk, but that being said, we do have self-support services. So having links to our knowledge base, which we always have had and um, a couple different tutorials that we have, having access to actually the learning management system support, uh, blackboardhelp.com, those types of things. If you have that in there, that's very important because not everybody you know, can access the stuff or contact us during our hours. And certainly most help desk on campuses are normally just an eight to five type Monday through Friday. So it's important to have all those types of resources both on the homepage, it's where you can actually, when you're first going into that particular page that you know where you can go, and it's not buried with all the other different pieces of information. And then, of course, within a course, it can vary depending on the, on, on the course itself. We've seen that for our different things. But if it's up front, especially in the beginning, um, and there's a lot of different pra best practices that, you know, that they are taught in that regards. So if they have that up front or within their syllabus and making sure that they understand um, who to contact and when to contact them, then you know, that certainly helps and it, and it certainly causes less frustration for the end user. One thing we recommend to our students is once they see that those resources there, where to get help to print those out or to save them to their phone, to do something so that they have access to those resources. Like let's say their computer's down with well, an obviously they can't log into their course and, and then see the resources that they can connect to. So make sure, we always encourage our students, make sure that you make those resources available in some other way, whether that's printing or saving it to their phone or writing it down. You just want to make sure it's updated. Whether, you know, if you have phone numbers, you have websites, you have email addresses, you want to make sure that, that those links to tech help are up to date because what's even more frustrating to a student who needs help is to go to try to get the help and they hit another roadblock. So you just want to make sure that wherever you have those resources posted, that they're always up to date.